now. But we, we had, I think maybe two or three weeks ago, some folks on uh, Revelation TV and they were showing us pictures of the ark and talking about it and the way that the animals could fit into it. But Betty's got a question about the animals. She says, good evening to you. I believe in the account of a flood, but what puzzles me is how animals from thousands of miles got there polar bears and all the vast number of creatures that we see on our nature programs. Any thoughts? Well, I would highly recommend not watching nature programs produced by certain uh, productions houses. Uh, I won't go into detail there. However, uh, it's not a problem at all. First of all, the animals came off of the ark. One pair of the unclean, three and a half pairs of the clean, four males and three females. The fourth male was used in the burnt offering after the flood in sacrifice and thanksgiving for surviving uh, of the flood, leaving three pairs of breeding clean animals. Now let's just take polar bears, for example. One pair of bears came off the ark. Now God knows the animals that contain the most perfect genetic information remaining because all genetic information started deteriorating at the time of human sin. But he is going to send to Noah the animals that have the most perfect genetic information remaining, and that is enough information for all of the diversity that we see in the world today. For example, we all came from one pair of human beings from the time of creation. Then there was a pinch point at the flood, and we are all descendants of three pairs of human beings. And you see the diversity in 7.4 billion people today. Mm -hmm. And in the case of polar bears, when one pair of bears came off the ark, bears started simply going in all different directions and they started reproducing. And the, the fact of the matter is that the bears didn't evolve, they didn't change, they didn't gain information. And what happened was that the environment actually erases the ones that are not fit to live in certain environments. So what happens is you do not have new information coming along. You have the preservation of information. And as bears migrated towards the north, well, in an Arctic environment, black bears are at a real disadvantage. And so the lighter color bears survive more until finally the dark bears are eliminated. And so you have natural elimination, not natural selection. Same thing is true in a jungle. White bears stand out in the jungle and so they would not reproduce well and would eventually be eliminated, leaving only, say, darker bears. And so what happens is you have an elimination of the creatures that cannot survive in a given environment. And only those that have the tools to survive will remain. Brady, you're a mine of information. It just staggers me the way that you're able to supply information to us. Thank you so much.